I'm preparing my manuka while I'm doing a hot water distillation to clean the still thoroughly. So I'm just taking the um, green tips of the kanuka and I don't want to include those woody dry parts of the plant in the distillation. I just want to get this lovely fresh growth um, on the tips. The rest of it won't be wasted, it will go through the mulcher and go back onto the garden. People often ask the question, how long does it take to do a distillation? Once the water is boiling and you've got it all ready, the actual distillation itself takes very little time. For me often the longest part is actually the preparing the plant to distill. But even if it takes a while, if I'm doing it with another person or just on my own, if you're working with an aromatic plant you're surrounded by the aroma and you're looking at the plant and feeling it and seeing how it grows and just the process of doing that you become in contact with that plant that you're about to distill its soul from and learn a lot more about it in the process. This is my pile of kanuka that I've chopped. All the oil in the kanuka is in these tiny little leaves, not in the stems or the flowers. So it's working out the most efficient way to get as many of those tiny little leaves in the still as possible because that really determines the yield. Not like if you've got those lovely big juicy leaves of eucalyptus or the, the big heads of the lavender flowers or basil or mint leaves, these are all tiny little leaves so the less stalk and the more leaf we have the better the oil yield is going to be and the more efficient the distillation. I've prepared my kanuka, it's all sitting, just the tops mainly are sitting in the basket and now I'm going to fill up the column of a 30 litre still. Um, I've already weighed out the kanuka. A good handful, um, about like that, is a hundred grams. The still is working at the moment, so I'll just go through how we've set it up. It's a 30 litre column still, so we've built a base for it and put fire guards around it to keep the heat in and we're running it off a gas burner which has got three elements on it. We've only actually got the inside two elements running and that seems to be adequate heat. I've sealed the joins with rye flour so we won't lose any steam and I'm keeping an eye on the temperature gauge to see when it comes up to steam. The condensing bucket is set up. We've got a garden hose running into it and we have a sterile collector flask ready to collect the distillate. So we've already taken about a litre and I haven't poured it into the separator yet but we've got a nice um, layer of essential oil on top. It smells very fragrant and floral like you would expect Kanuka to smell very fresh. I'm on my second 500 mils, it's still producing oil. Um, and smelling very floral and fresh and this is just very rewarding worth all that um, chopping of those top leaves off to get such a lovely product. <laughs>